So upcoming we have Cosmos versus M. Luigi. Now I feel uh, earlier today we saw Cosmos do Luigi Dittos and friendlies. Um, it's a real possibility. No, I believe he's going Mario. He does have a good Mario. He has a good Luigi too. He does have a really good Luigi. He was playing Luigi to us with Kaz, who's also another fantastic Luigi. So you never know, you might see it. <laughs> so we are in losers round six. We are getting to the end of the tournament. We have one. About five or six? This is losers round six, so I guess, yeah, the winner of this game will play me. Yes. And would that be losers finals? No. We have uh, Cyber Cyberman. Cyberman will be losers finals, yes. right. And uh, Cosmo's getting the down air, the forward air spike in the beginning, but doesn't quite have the damage percent to really pull it off. I love this matchup, you know, finally you get to see the Mario Brothers duke it out, so a lot of times I always call this the battle of the neutral air, just throwing them out. Neutral air, there up air. Yep. The nooch, you can the throw combos. <laughs> That's what these characters have in common, yep. and a really, really good jab. Really good jab, really down throw, good down throw game, combo game. He is using the custom fireballs. Those custom fireballs are so good for pressure. I mean, even without it, fireballs are extremely good for pressure and good for approaches, setting up approaches. But this fat, fast fireball is even better. And <laughs> Luigi going for the double jab combo. But oh, oh wow, nice V. <laughs> Down throw combos, forward air, up air. Someone in the background uh, talking about Game & Watch. Uh, of course I'm it sure. catches your attention. Uh, I think I know why they're talking about him. <laughs> game Watch is very underrated in this game, I think. He is. He has a lot of problem matchups, like, like Sonic. Yeah. Sonic is not a very good matchup for Game & Watch at all. Um, but against some, some characters like Mario and Ness, he, is, he has a very respectable game. And lower tiers, he just obliterates, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. Down throw to Blender. Like, a lot of people, like, on Reddit think that Ganondorf is better than Game & Watch. And, I, I, you know, I always far. ask them, have they ever actually played a good one? You know, because if I, if I play against Ganondorf as Game & Watch, I can just back air, back air, true combo. Yeah. And Ganondorf is usually oh, yeah, dead. Luigi He's taking a two stock victory yeah, against uh, Cosmos and Luigi taking that. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, also everyone on Reddit online always thinks they play a good, you know, this and that good game watch. But until you've come to a tournament and played it, I don't know. But I think I think he's gonna run into a different character. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> they, they're joking. <laughs> oh. I don't, I don't play Game Watch. This, um, Cosmos jokingly selecting Game & Watch. I feel very flattered. You got inspired by your Game & Watch play. <laughs> he does play a lot of characters. I mean, I play with Cosmos all the time. He, I know he has a Sheik, I know he has a Luigi, Mario. And it looks like we have the Luigi video yeah, There he goes. Up. I mean, I play a lot of other characters, but the reason I play Game & Watch is because, quite frankly, you know, he just kind of chooses you. You yeah. don't choose him. Absolutely. You, you feel bored with other characters, and when you play Game & Watch, it just it just feels so fluid and fun, even if you're losing. I think that's a big part of the game, too. Picking a character that you like playing, that's fun to play with. And this is a test, ladies and gentlemen, so this is not Game 2. He's just testing out the customs, because I think someone did delete a custom set that he does use. Rory, if you have, I have customs, I have all of his customs, you can change it. So someone swapped it out, but I think this is what it feels like. the same. Okay. And part of another reason that I picked Game & Watch is because, you know, you could always be the best at anything, 
with, with Diddy Kong, but there's always a, another Diddy Kong who's better than you. Absolutely. But as Game & Watch, I get to be that guy, you know, that everyone knows when I enter the room, of and they know what they're going up against. And then they find it entertaining because they don't usually play Game & Watch yeah. online. Or for, the, for the viewers also, you know, I think it's a little bit more of a refreshing matchup seeing a Game & Watch rather than seeing, let's say, a Sheik or Diddy Kong. But... So we have M. Luigi as the purple Luigi, the Wa Luigi of the Luigis, and then we have the Fireball Luigi um, as Cosmos. Both players fireballing in the same directions. <laughs> Trap, excellent trap by M. Luigi. Throwing out the fireball and then trapping it to the forward smash. Oh, the balloon. They have up airs and neutral airs going against each other here. Luigi's dash tag, I think, is very good. It, it has lingering, you know, it lingers around. It's, uh,. It has some utility, yeah. But, but if you it's if you whiff it though, it can be easily thrown, and that can usually get a lot of damage on you. And Cosmos going for a very unsafe recovery. It's probably frozen. With down you want to refresh that? And Luigi just immediately <laughs> up smashing that. Cosmos jabbing and Luigi off the stage. It goes for the taunt oh, kill. Wow. But, but that's ex extremely hard to land in this game, especially because of the ledge mechanics. Yeah. Cosmos actually ahead in this di Luigi ditto. The down throw blender, as I like to call it. Ooh. Trying to angle that forward smash. Good up smash read. I mean that's the kill. Good three percent. I mean it's a decent decent lead, but nothing that can't be. The nice the nice thing about Luigi and what I feel sets him apart from Mario is that he can do more than just up smash. You know, Mario really has to rely on up smashes and his spike, you know, when when you get to a certain level of play it can be very easily read. There's a lot of startup lag and Mario really he can try to back air, but the angle at which he comes down from the back air is just kinda of predictable. I agree. Luigi, he can do stuff like down throw into tornado for a kill. And the tornado, the, the, the vertical on that tornado is actually really good. So you can actually catch a lot of heal by surprise sometimes. As as Luigi Sama, who is arguably some would say the best Luigi on Long Island would say, you know. That the tornado is very punishable, and there's, it's a very you have to get a hard read on your opponent. He said. I, I've also seen some people as he falls through it. I've seen people use the the, the tornado as almost like a spike. Stop yeah, Luigi from recovering. Oh, the lingering hitbox wow. on the side B gets Cosmos. An unfortunate trade for him, and I will be playing M Luigi in losers bracket. Go on to play the same guy